Well, it's a beautiful day out, and I figured it's just a good day to do an overview on the budget turbo E28. Um, let's get right into it. The heart of everything is in the glove box here. That is a micro squirt. And so the micro squirt is modified on the board for a six cylinder. So it's using one of the spare outputs to run wasted spark on LS coils. Um, I just got a little grounding block to run some things to. Um, and then I used one of these blue C systems. Uh, little boards right here for the fuses. And uh, just have one for like O2. The injector banks, each bank of three. Um, and then this is running the micro squirt and this guy is running the coils. So pretty basic. I mean, it looks kind of clustered just cause, uh, you know, when you finish a project and it runs really well and everything seems to be okay, you, you kind of stop uh, caring about the, uh, the way the wiring looks. Cause when it's all shut, you can't see it. Anyway, uh, that's basically it on the micro squirt. Then that guy comes back here, a little heat shield ghetto rigged on it. And then I used the stock um, just wire cover for uh, from the micro squirt. It gets a little toasty back by the exhaust, so I took it off. Um, and I just ran it kind of down here. Um, down there is my crank position sensor, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it really well, but it's from DIY Auto-Tune. It almost is the same dimensions as the BMW one. I just whipped up a little adapter on a laser, and uh, it fits the B35. You can see, let me get it down in there. You can see there's a little adapter that moves the offset of where the hole is, because it's a little bit longer and then it just runs the B35 crank trigger wheel. Stuff you can find in the junkyard that I did. And um, we're running the LS truck coils um, right there. I just had some standoffs that I got from McMaster. Um, my cousin welded them to the valve cover for me. It's not the prettiest, but it's basically uh, the right length for the stock wires. They just sit in line really nicely there. Um, what else? Oh, there's my coolant temp sensor. I just tapped the stock housing, put the GM one in. If I did it again, I'd probably just use the E30 Bosch one. Um, you can get all the sensor data for them and they're really easy to, to use. There's my air temp sensor. Um, buried down in there are Siemens DECA 80 pound injectors. Um, they just drop right in. It's kind of a mess, but you get the idea. I got some nice boots um, and plugs, these EV1 plugs off an Audi in the junkyard of V6 Audi. It's nice, they come numbered. Look at that, look how fancy. Um, AEM wideband. I think that was just uh, the standard. It's the new Bosch LS uh, 4.9, I guess. I'm keep forgetting there's 4.2 and 4.9. I think it's the newest one off Amazon. Um, I just bought a ton of three inch aluminized uh, piping off Summit and made the downpipe, this is just a 90, then it goes to like a 45, and um, this wastegate return is actually a piece of the stock exhaust that goes down one of the runners. It just happened that I had a good piece that fit it. Um, I don't suggest this heat tape. It's like the $12 one on Amazon. It is doing the job, but it kind of sucks. Like it was black, but the heat melts off of, um, all of the, uh, what's it called, the ink. <laughs> uh, 
anyway I got a turbo smart comp gate 40 um, I have played around with some Chinese waste gates and not had very good luck not not really feeling it on this project I just wanted no problems so I got popped for a nice waste gate and this is just a junkyard kind of find whole set HE341 so it's basically an HX35 but um, <coughs> excuse me but modern it just has a, a v-band housing and the housing was kind of dumb because it comes with its own 4.6 inch v-band so I just got a 4.5 inch plate it's like mild steel put it over that tigged it and then uh, hole sawed it previously for three inch right over the outlet of the turbine and so now it's a three inch so that makes it pretty easy this is just push lock like Parker push lock you get at hydraulic stores it's really inexpensive quarter inch so dash four just comes up out of the turbo goes back here to a T on the head that is made by uh, Bimmer heads I don't suggest it when I tighten it down it basically is touching the firewall I don't like it but it's working for now so do what you must but I don't suggest it unless you can make sure that it ends up in the right position when you're done and that might be my fault um, this is just the stock um, capped off idle air valve it's a three wire and I need a two wire to PWM with the micro squirt so I just plugged it off and tuned around it um, the idles at like 850 and does a pretty decent job in the summertime so I don't really mind this is like a four to three elbow that just barely fit in there with like an inexpensive um, I got that off Amazon this was like maybe $20 for that and then we had to do some tricky little cuts there's like a little piece it's very hard to see now but I just came out 2.75 to two and a half and then down inside is my intercooler it is a 21 by 18 by 3 inch deep um, I've got the cover on it right now but it just sits in there I just made a little mount for it it actually fits really well you do have to trim the back of these headlight housings um, it's really hard to see in here but it just barely fits around the headlight but it will you just have to trim um, you just have to trim them out a little bit and cut the top mount off that I found so yeah like $100 intercooler and then these bends were like perfect I found them in the junkyard and they're like heavy duty but all they are is just like a long L so they have um, a long runner on one side and they're back to back so you just come out up and over and they have one one link in the, the middle uh, you have to get a three inch silicone to two and a half if I believe if I remember right it might be 2.75 this um, is off of a B35 automatic. It's potentiometer style, not just like clicking back and forth. Um, like the other ones are just a switch, the ones off the manual cars. I was going to flip the manifold, but I, I got a manifold to flip it and started looking into using an M50 throttle body, but it just, it worked so well with this piping and like I'm not noticing any problems, so I just gave up on that for simplicity at this time um, yeah that's I think that's pretty much it I put in a little breaker switch so that breaker feeds uh, the micro squirt via that fuse box so everything new goes through that breaker back up into the fuse box um, but yeah that's pretty much it it's really simple just made a manifold this is just out of inch and a half uh, schedule 10 piping and like those are that down there was a schedule 40 like plumbing elbow 
you can go to like industrial plumbing stores and get weld elbows that are mild steel for really inexpensive. I think my manifold probably cost $50 to make. That's including the flange, which is a vibrant mild steel flange. Um, yeah, the exhaust. Let's go back and look at the exhaust here. It's three inch. I got a Summit three inch muffler that's a straight through. So in there, it's just like perforated and just snakes back. I put a V-band right there so I could split it in three pieces if I needed to service it. And uh, yeah, it seemed to work okay. You just have to tip it sideways. Like it's a full size muffler, but it's just tipped sideways. So yeah. And high flow catalytic converter. And that's about it. Really just a simple setup. I don't really know how much I've spent on it, but I don't know, with the mega squirt stuff and the turbo and everything, maybe a little under $2,000. Um, I haven't really kept track, but I, that's what I would guess. So yeah, it's a fun car right now, just running um, 0.5 bar, like seven to eight PSI, and it pulls really nicely. It's super fun. It's open diff right now, so I can just kind of spin the tires depending on the surface, especially in rain. It just, there's really no traction, so it's a good time. Um, as far as clutch goes, I did a Sax 765 pressure plate, and then I did the Sax Racing upgraded clutch disc for an M5. So E34 M5, but the upgraded clutch disc. I don't know the part number off the top of my head for that one, but I got it on Auto Haas, and you can too. Apparently that combo is supposed to hold about 450 foot-pounds, so she's good for now. I've been running it on E85, just switched back to 91, um, just because uh, I go from about, like beating on it, I get like 17 on pump 91, and when I go to E85, it's like 13 miles a gallon. Um, so I just switched back because E85 is the same price as like regular gas in our area and it's really not worth it at this boost level even though it makes the car run so much better. I really, really love tuning on E85. It feels a lot more responsive and feels good. Um, trying to think of anything else. Uh, 90, yeah like a 91 octane, if I lean it out to like a 15.5 air fuel on the freeway, just cruising at like 75, I can get uh, 27 miles a gallon. I did like a 100 mile um, round trip the other day and got 27. I just filled up, left, came back, filled up, same pump. So it can get good mileage if you just stay out of it and lean it out pretty good, but uh, I think that's about it. It's a pretty fun car, so. If you have any questions throw them in the comments i'll try to get to them uh, when i see them and uh, yeah have fun